Welcome to the only most updated video on the best settings for recording your videos using OBS. Either you're streaming and you want to record at the same time or you simply want to use OBS to record high quality videos for your content. This is the video for you. So what you need to do is we're going to go to OBS actually and go to settings. Okay. Now, depending on where you're streaming, either you're streaming on Kik, YouTube, Facebook, it doesn't matter. We are going to be focusing on actually recording. This is the most important tab that we're going to be looking into. And this is going to be the output tab. But before we go to the output tab, we're going to go to video and we're going to go to the first setting, which is the base canvas resolution. So we're going to start with the base canvas resolution. Now, the base canvas resolution is going to be your actual monitor or your display that you're actually using so you're gonna use the resolution that you have for your monitor let's say if you're gaming and you're gaming on a 1080p monitor your base canvas resolution is gonna be 1080p recording or doing some screen share whatever you're doing your monitor is going to determine your base canvas all right so if you have a 4k monitor type in your 4k resolution in here in my case i'm using 1920 by 1080 that's what i'm gonna be keeping for my base canvas resolution now for the output resolution most of the time this is gonna be what you're gonna be sending to your live streaming platform all right or what you want to output if you were recording that's what you actually gonna be sending out i was doing a tutorial on how to stream on facebook in 720p that's why i had this which if you were to do that you would have to do it differently however since this video is only for recording we're gonna go ahead and actually consider this as our final recording so we're sending to the final output right so it's gonna be 1080p because we're gonna be recording in 1080p uh, other than that for actually recording if you're not recording a gameplay or something that needs really 60 frames per second we're gonna keep the fps at 30 frames per second usually it does the job you can go ahead and actually hit apply to make sure you're saving everything next up we're gonna go to the output okay this is where the magic happens by default when you open obs you're gonna have your output actually set to simple you want to make sure you actually change that to advanced now since we are only recording we're gonna actually we are going to ignore the streaming part again if you want to know how to stream and record at the same time actually stream maybe in 720p or in a lower quality and actually record in super super high quality i have another video that i made about it i'm gonna link it down below but other than that we're gonna move to the recording part here so for the type leave it on standard and then for the recording settings what we need to do is choose the recording path all right so you need to just simply hit browse and choose any folder on your desktop mine is gonna be under videos you can actually if you have an external drive maybe an ssd where you want to put all your recordings it could be an option it's gonna be super straightforward and then for the recording format this is gonna be different from most of the videos maybe they have seen because the new obs version actually allows you to record in mp4 without risking losing your files before we used to actually record in mkv because if obs crashes or something happens in the middle of your recording you actually lose the entire recording if you were using mp4 that's why we had to use mkv kind of lossless so you wouldn't lose your files and then you would have to do what we call the remax and then just to be able to change the mkv into mp4 to be able to edit your files not anymore because now obs does actually support what we call fragmented mp4 which is going to allow you to record in mp4 and if something were to happen in the middle of your recording actually you would still keep your recording up until whatever happened that happened which is awesome so we're gonna go ahead and actually use the fragmented mp4 and then for video encoder if you have a dedicated graphics card of course you're gonna go ahead and actually choose nvidia nvec h264 if you don't you can actually go ahead and use your actual computer which is gonna be x264 again i hope you have a dedicated graphics card because it's gonna be super super helpful for the audio encoder you can leave it at core audio aac and audio track can leave it only one track should do the job 
for rescale output i have it checked because i had settings where i was actually live streaming and recording at the same time so i was live streaming 1080p on facebook and i wanted to record in full hd now if you are only recording you don't need to have this checked because anyways we are actually going to be outputting 1920 by 1080p so leave it unchecked unless you are live streaming in a lower quality and then next up we actually going to leave everything the way it is for the encoder settings choose what's called cqp and then the cq level we're gonna have it at 18 all right i keep it at 18 if you're doing like some kind of short recordings maybe 10 minutes or less or 20 minutes or less i actually suggest you kind of have it at around 14 okay now if you're doing some long recording two hours or i don't know maybe three hours you can go ahead and maybe use something around 20. i want you to kind of be playing between 20 and 14. for me personally my sweet spot is around actually 18. depending on how long your recordings are going to be go play with the numbers the lower you go the higher or the bigger the file is going to be again in my opinion 20 still looks good however if you want really higher higher quality you want to kind of go lower around 14 15 16 and be mindful do some testing because the file sizes are going to change depending on the number that you actually inputting in here other than that for the keyframe interval you can actually keep it at 2s or 2 seconds preset you can keep it at slow good quality you can do some testing too but for me slower better quality actually works no problem tuning keep it a high quality profile high a multi-pass mode two passes should do the job make sure you check psycho visual tuning everything gpu zero keep it at zero max b frames two should stay the same now once we are done here you guys can go ahead actually if you want you can copy my settings no problem we're gonna go to audio here you actually want to keep it at 160 should do the job and everything should stay the way it is here nothing really to change here for the replay buffer this has to do with gaming if you're gaming and let's say you're gaming and you're streaming at the same time and you want to kind of go back to maybe 30 seconds ago 20 seconds ago you can use this but for recording you don't need to have this on so once we are done with our recording settings always always make sure you hit the apply okay and that's pretty much it okay so if you go to the stream tab this is where if you were to stream so we don't need it for recording general tab you can choose your language your theme this has nothing to do with recording and of course video we already did it hard keys has nothing to do with recording and then for advanced you can leave everything the way it is kind of general set to normal on video here the only thing you need to change you want to make sure that the color space says rec 709 for color range you can actually have it set to full all right now for color format here as you can see it says nv 12 8 bit 422 again if you want to record in 10 bit that's gonna be a little complicated your camera has to support 10 bit your capture card has to support 10 bit so everything can have to be in the same workflow but for most people 8 bit should do the job because most capture cards and ATEM mini and like whatever you may be doing to capture your image i'm sure it's gonna be working with 8-bit so you should leave it at 8-bit should do the job everything here just leave it the way it is you don't have to do a lot here to be honest and as soon as you're done hit apply and hit ok and boom you are good to go so now once you're done all you need to do just go ahead and make sure your camera is ready your audio of course again i'm not gonna teach you how to do that if you want to know how to use obs i have a video that will show you how to add scenes and add microphones to create everything all the sources everything that you need before you go live or before you record but assuming that you know that the only thing left to do is just to go ahead and hit the start recording button and as you record of course obs is gonna start writing your file in mp4 in the folder that you specified all right so guys that's pretty much it before we end i'm gonna go ahead and actually stop recording and if you go to my videos i can actually show you that the file has been written and as you can see it looks 
pretty good all right as you can see it's full hd which is awesome all right and if i go to properties here you can see that we have the file go to details 1920 by 1080p and the data rate is around 36,000 kbps and the file size as you can see it's not super big it's around 57.5 megabytes again this is only around 26 seconds so that's what i said you want to make sure you play with the qc level here and see what kind of files you get and the size actually because that's the most important thing now if you want to stream on facebook because facebook now allows 720p and actually record locally in a higher quality using obs i have a video that is going to show you exactly how to do that and it should be here so make sure you check it out and i will see you guys there. Take care.